Luka unleashed his magic on the Clippers. Going into the second half, as this Clippers versus Mavericks series is tied up at two games apiece, the Clippers are trying to take the series lead on their home court and avoid losing this game, which would mean they have to deal with a must-win game six in Dallas. Dallas leads the Clippers by 10 at half. The two teams were equal if you looked at things like the rebound numbers and points in the paint, as the Mavericks scored 30 points in the paint, while the Clips scored 26 points in the paint. But the difference was that the Mavericks had blocked five of the Clippers' shot attempts in the first half, and the Clips had turned the ball over four times. James Harden has been shooting poorly in this first half as he shot two for nine from the field. Russell Westbrook had missed all five of his shot attempts in the first half. Zubak was the only player on the Clippers whose play had been consistent so far as he led the way for the Clippers with 13 points shooting six for seven on the court. Both teams were shooting terrible from three as the two squads were shooting 20% from downtown. The Mavericks then went on a 13 to four scoring run while the Clippers went 0 for six from the field to close out the first half. Zubak has continued to be consistent as he and Terrence Mann were the only Clippers with double-digit points so far in his third quarter. Kyrie Irving picks up his third foul of the game but then comes up with a steal and takes a coast-to-coast -coast lane to end while also getting fouled for the and one as the Mavericks take a 12-point lead. Clippers then miss their 14th straight three-point attempt, which is crazy because going into this game, their team has been the best three-point shooting squad throughout the playoffs so far. In response to this missed three, Luka then hits a three-pointer of his own as the Mavericks now lead by 17. Luka then gets a and one layup opportunity after getting fouled, and the Mavericks continue to clamp up on the defensive end while Luka keeps terrorizing the Clips defense as he knocks down some more free throws. And the Mavs now have a 21-point lead. Westbrook misses his eighth shot of the game as he still can't get anything to go. And despite his slow start of the game, Kyrie has been playing with a ton of energy tonight as he's rushing down both ends of the floor for scoring and defensive opportunities as he has a pair of steals so far. The Clippers have made only one of their 12 total shot attempts in this third quarter with four minutes left to go. Luka drains a deep three, marking his 27th point of the game, but Norman Powell steps back for a three-point of his own, which goes in, clips down by 18. Paul George then makes his first three of the game late in the third quarter after Mavericks miss. George then hits another three as the Clippers try to cut his lead down some more but the Mavericks head into the fourth quarter up by 20 points. Clippers instantly score off of a Mavericks turnover as the fourth quarter starts. Kyrie then drains a deep three as he's now in double digit points with 12. Luka is then stepping off the gas as he makes another three point shot in this game even though he's been shooting terrible from three throughout the game as this is only the second of eight total three point shots that went in. Luka exits the game with 34 points and 10 rebounds as it's safe to say that Dallas takes this win with only five minutes left and a 30 point lead. Mavs display a ton of dominance in this win as they now lead the series through to two. Max Kleber hit five threes in this game as he, Luka, and the rest of the Mavericks head back to Dallas in hopes to put the Clippers away. One thing that I do think is important to mention is that the Clippers coach Ty Lu has a record of 10 wins to four losses when facing elimination games. So it won't be easy for the Mavs if they hope to put the nail in the Clippers postseason right now. But we'll see.